to make sure the girls were with me. I did not see Sissy. And as soon as I immediately turned around, Alyssa's like, where's Sissy? Woo! You excited, Ali? Mm -hmm. To get on the, t to go to the tower? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can turn on your iPad. Thank you. Uh, Sissy, mm -hmm. you excited, Mommy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Bobby, we're going to go on your first road trip, Bobby. Huh? He's tired. Are we going on your first road trip? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Hello, 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 and good morning. Welcome to another vlog. We are heading out for Anthony's work trip. We are actually going to St. Petersburg and he's gonna be there until Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so we're just gonna join him. We're probably gonna stay until Friday. I'm probably gonna book an extra night and then come back Friday morning because Alyssa and him have dance recital that they cannot miss. And so that is a plan. It's Bubby's first road trip. So we are hoping that he does well on this four hour drive. So we'll see how it goes. It's his first road trip of many. I think the next long distance road trip that we have planned, this was, was last minute, but one that we actually have planned is in July. So hopefully it'll be a good starter run. So I'm excited. We need a change of scenery and to be out of the house. So I'm excited. Last time, we went to Clearwater, which will be like 40 minutes from Clearwater, which is around St. Petersburg, it was in October for our birthdays, and we had a blast. The sunset over there and the beaches are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited to go back. And just like that, Bubby is knocked out. We had some Chick-fil-A. Sissy, are you eating? What are you doing? Bubby. Yes? You need a napkin? Okay, one second. Oh, your apple juice? What do you want? Apple juice? Okay. And then Ali is back there. Pretty girl, eating his stuff. Babe, are you excited to take us all on your work trip? Very excited. We sure do. We have three hours and 37 minutes to get to the hotel, and I'm hoping that Bobby will at least sleep three hours. He slept a long time yesterday. He took a long nap yesterday. So hopefully the car is moving and he'll just nap. You know, wishful thinking here. Wishful thinking. Oh, use your words, homegirl. can't wait to go to the tower yeah. I know she's never jumped out of her bed as quick as she did today usually it's like I don't want to go to school I said we're going to the tower and she literally jumped up brushed her teeth went to the bathroom and got dressed so she, she loves towers she's a hotel junkie like her mama Did you wake up? Yeah. And we had to stop. Yeah. Are you gonna be a good boy? Did you just turn around, Bubby? Bub. Oh, okay. We are 45 minutes out of our destination and everybody in the house, in the car is going crazy. crazy. <laughs> we actually haven't done some sort of like road trip in six months. So, it's been a long time and it's four hours or it was four hours. Ali, what did you tell daddy? I <laughs> She made Anthony turn off the music so she can watch her iPad without music. Mind you, Anthony Dad! is going crazy up there. Ready to just arrive. Hi, puppy. Are you just hanging out? Sissy. 
You okay, mommy? Are you tired? I give me the camera, give me the camera. Talk. Just give me the camera. Give you the camera? Yeah. Okay, be careful with it, okay? Don't put it so close. Hello, everyone. I think I go at the tower. It's going to be so much fun. Houses are so pretty. Look at that one. That one's big. And they're building this one that's pretty big too. They're not main real, but that's not a. Um, I, they, I guess they have their own little road too. They have their own little road, but it's not the main road. That's what they have. Tavi, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Your first road trip and you did so good. Yes, mama. Yeah, you see all the towers? Uh oh. Yes. These are not towers, mommy. Those are apartments. People live there. finally made it to our hotel after four hours we were going crazy in the car we just haven't been on a road trip in so long but we have made it we're actually in treasure island if you don't know where that is it's near st petersburg which is near tampa so it's like the tampa area just different cities in within tampa so that is where we are. We're actually here for a work trip for Anthony. So he's actually out for work and the girls and baby boy and I are here. But I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour. Residence Inn, which is where we're staying, usually all look the same. So it looks the same, but we have a little bit of a view. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour. And baby boy did so good. He's actually taking a nap now, but he did so good on the way over here. I am so proud of him. I thought he was going to be hard. I thought the road trip was going to be hard. But he actually did it pretty well. He slept about three hours of the four. And so, and the, during the four hours, during the hour that he was awake, he only whined for about 15 minutes. So, not that bad. He did really good. But let's give you guys a room tour. So, when you walk in, you have a little kitchen area here you have a full fridge you have a uh, pantry it looks like yeah oh there's your garbage and then i guess you have some cabinet pantry space up there and then you have lots of cabinet space you have your stove your microwave a little bit a mini dishwasher a little sink and then back there is we'll get there but to this side we have where the girls are going to be staying so just a king size bed in there and then they have a dresser and a tv in here they have a nightstand and another nightstand and then in here they have a closet sorry for the loudness Ellie. Go. And then they have a bathroom. It's a pretty good sized bathroom. Let me turn the light on in here. Pretty good sized bathroom. 
a shower, and then a dining area, and then the living room is over here with a little TV stand and the TV. And then we have a balcony on this end. And the view, I'm not gonna go out there, but the view is very pretty. We have a little bit of a beach view. As you can see, the beach is over there. And so the hotel is actually on the beach when you walk out to the pool area. My favorite part of like the West Coast area is the sunset. And I love that we have a beach view because I'm hoping that we can get to see the sunset at night. When we were in Clearwater, which is only 40 minutes from here, back in October of last year for the girls and I's birthday, and we spent the week there, the sunset was beautiful. And seeing it from my balcony was just amazing all the time. Yes, Mama. Okay, go over there, Mommy. Go over there. But, yeah, just on the west coast of Florida, the sunset is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to lose light here. So I'm excited to see that. I'm actually really hungry. So I'm about to order some Uber Eats or DoorDash here. And then, oh, he's up. We are in our room, the master room. Okay, it's a king-size bed. This is where Bubby, Anthony, and I will sleep. Say hi, Bubby. Hi. Bubby. Now, he's like, I'm minding my own business. Then you have the dresser, the TV. You have a closet. And then... We have access to the balcony over here. And then you can see the beach over there. So cute little view. And then our master bathroom is over here. We actually have a bath instead of a shower. I don't know where the light is. Oh, here it is. Oh, we actually have both. Okay, so we walk in and you have the sink. You have your toilet, a bath, tub, and then the shower is actually behind the door. So you have option for both, which is nice. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my high but I said on Instagram that the scariest thing happened to me on our way back up and my nerves are like calm now. But we get up to the elevator, we get on the elevator, we make it to our floor and Alyssa and I get off the elevator and I turn around and I do not see Sissy. And then when you get off the elevator on our floor, you can go two ways. You get off in like a little lobby area and then you go to your left and it's like a little space before you go to the door and then you go to the right and there's more, it's like hallway. The door to the left leads to another hallway which is where our room is. So I was walk, I was like gearing the stroller towards the door and I parked it and I had turned around to make sure the girls were with me. I did not see Sissy. And as soon as I immediately turned around, Alyssa's like, where's Sissy? So I like peeked my head through the lobby. It's this little, not much area. And I do not see Sissy at all. And so I'm like, crap, she stayed on the elevator. So I'm like clicking the elevator button. It comes back up or comes back down, whatever. And it is completely empty. I freak out i mean i was already freaking out the fact that she got stuck in the elevator not stuck but stayed on the elevator and so i grabbed the baby out of the car seat and i'm storming down the stairs with Alyssa and the baby in hand calling anthony because like i said we're here for a work trip and so calling anthony he does not answer he isn't answering 
and half of them were going to voicemail. I think I called them a total of like 20 times. He said he got eight calls, but some of them were going to voicemail, I think because I was calling repeatedly so fast and he was not answering. While I'm calling him, I go downstairs to the parking lot, I check the parking lot, I go towards the pool, I check the pool, no sissy in sight. I'm like keeping my composure, but I'm freaking out inside, like freaking out. And so our hotel has two elevators. Anthony had checked us in when we arrived yesterday, and so I don't didn't know where the lobby was. And the only elevator that I know is the one that we used, and it goes down to the parking lot. And so I was trying to get to the lobby. It's on the second floor. I could not get to the freaking lobby. And so I finally find the second elevator, get on it, go to the lobby with Alyssa and the baby and I'm literally running up calling him when I get to the lobby I'm praying well as I'm walking towards the lobby I'm praying that I find that sis is there I get to the lobby and everyone's like fine and there's no sissy in sight Anthony was actually here working with somebody that works here helping them with something Mommy. and so Mommy. he was in the back office so I'm like please Mommy. find Anthony and so I give him his name. The staff really doesn't know who he is. And so it took her a little bit to process who I was asking for. And so she gets on the phone and they're not answering. And so as she was headed back to the, to the office to find him, I'm like, please tell him it's an emergency while I'm still calling him. She, yes, mommy. Yes. Okay, one second. She's headed back. As she's headed back, there is a group of two different couples and the older couple is like, we need a little help. And when I hear that, I walk towards them and they have Sissy in front of them. And I'm like, me, 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 me. That's all I remember saying. I'm like, me, 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 as, like, as in like, she's mine. And I grab her hand and I immediately started crying. It was the longest 10 minutes of my life and i thought she was gone and i did not know for a quick second i was like how am i going to like what are the next like i just i thought she was gone i can't even like express what my feelings were but i immediately broke down crying when i saw her and i grabbed her and i'm like thank you thank you thank you and i was like you know it happened in a blink of an eye I turned around and the elevator closed and she was gone. It was just the worst 10 minutes of my life. The worst. So on that note, I do not know when I'm gonna brave out into this world with all three kids on my own because I mean, I'm probably gonna do it within the next 48 hours because I just, you know, I'm their mom and they're with me all the time. But it was a lot. It was a lot, it was a lot, it was a lot. Are you dancing dance party? Yeah. Oh. 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 Dance. Mm. Oh, girl. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Keep dancing. Oh, you starting it over? Are you starting it over? <laughs> yeah. Shake it, girl. And then baby brother is taking a nap under this pillow. He is right there. He likes the weight of the pillow, so I put a pillow on top of him. And then Ali actually just went to the room. I think because Alyssa, Aaliyah was dancing and being loud. You having some quiet time, mommy? Yeah, you're tired? Yeah. yeah, I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. We are all back together, which is what matters because I don't know what I would have done if I would have lost my sissy girl forever. What? Are you talking so much? Huh? Are you talking? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I see you. Yes, you are. Are you having fun? Hmm? Yeah. You on your road trip? Huh? 
You did your first road trip. Yes, you did. And you're having so much fun? Huh? No, we're not going to see the moon. We're about to go back into the room in a little bit. We're going to go see daddy upstairs. But it's absolutely stunning out here. So pretty.